So I recently overheard two of my three children playing a very rousing game of what's grosser. Do you know this game? You try to gross out your opponent by pitting two disgusting scenarios against each other. For instance, what's grosser? Finding a used Band-Aid or someone else's hair in your food? Yeah, it's fun for road trips. So there I was eavesdropping from the next room, which is usually when the most magical sibling conversations happen. And that's when I heard it. What's grother? Creamed corn or mom? <laughs> I was stunned. Creamed corn, that's the best you can do. <laughs> of course, I put an end to that conversation immediately. All right, you two, knock it off. Playtime's over. Whose turn is it to pluck mama's neck hair? <laughs> but really, the whole exchange got me thinking. OMG, am I gross? <laughs> I am the person everyone in my house calls to determine if something is chocolate or poop. <laughs> and I have been called sir by various retail clerks more times than I care to admit. But in terms of sheer grossness, I think the clincher was when my preteen daughter and I went bra shopping together in the same fitting room. <laughs> she was there trying on these adorable little training bras that are like two floral band-aids and a piece of string. <laughs> and I'm manually rolling each of mine up like a pair of tube socks. I was trying on these things that looked like canvas tote bags lined in memory foam. <laughs> yeah, those exist, memory foam, because clearly my breasts had forgotten where they belong on my torso. I'm telling you, she looked like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> Only with me, they're more like floodlights. <laughs> but truly, I mean, she could not look away, and then the question started. When I grow up, will my nipples look like that? Is that from breastfeeding? Mom, how close is your hometown to Three Mile Island? I mean, I can't blame her. It is frightening to see the effects of age and gravity and mileage. <laughs> Especially when you're young and nubile and your nipples both face forward and in the same direction. <laughs> okay, fine. So when you add it all up, I guess I am pretty gross. But I'll have you know I wasn't always this way. I haven't always had to dress like a traffic cone to get attention. <laughs> I think the grossness started with motherhood. And no, I'm not just talking about the conception. <laughs> you know, you know. Let's start with the labor and delivery, shall we? <laughs> Listen, if it weren't for that cone-headed creature trying to claw its way down my lady luge, I never would have voluntarily evacuated my bowels on a birthing table <laughs> in... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You too? Yeah. In front of the man I love. <laughs> and a room full of medical professionals. Yeah. Sadly, daily life has gotten no less disgusting over the past 14 years. 
between battling head lice to verifying that my child did indeed pass the magnet she swallowed. <laughs> to successfully removing chewed bubble gum from my preschooler's genitals. <laughs> yeah, I did that. This job is not for the faint of heart or stomach. So yeah, I am gross. But you know what, I own that grossness because I have earned it. <laughs> but I'll let you in on a little secret. I have a special little coping mechanism. No, it's not booze. <laughs> Anymore. I have this little game I play in my head where I pretend that motherhood is like a video game. Every time I complete another disgusting task, I feel like I have unlocked another level of adventure. <laughs> What's that? successfully extricated a Chewbacca-like hair clump from the kid's shower drain. Three stars! <laughs> ringworm, rotavirus, ringworm and rotavirus. <laughs> pew, pew, sweet, divine. <laughs> Teen boy sleepover with a DEFCON 2 toilet clog. Bitch, please. <laughs> People, I own a 36-inch, hand-powered, commercial-grade steel toilet auger I affectionately call the Turdinator. Okay? <laughs> you can't phase me. Yeah, let's face it. Real life, motherhood doesn't have a lot of Pinterest-worthy moments. <laughs> Some days, you think they're never gonna end. Other days, I can start to see the light at the end of this dark, foul-smelling tunnel. <laughs> but I try not to dwell in the darkness because, you know, this too shall pass. And based on the bounce I see in my mom's step, I can tell that the grandma level of this game called life is pretty frickin' awesome. <laughs> yeah. One day in the not so distant future, my daughter will be crying to me about her cracked and bleeding nipples. While she's struggling to get my precious and perfect newborn grandchild to latch on. And God willing, I will kick my breasts out of the way and race to her side. Probably with a creamed corn casserole.